Patrol Coastal Modernization. Emerging in the 21st century, fast and furious. The threat is real, and the Patrol Coastal ship must be ready and combat relevant to face that threat. The Patrol Coastal ship uh, is truly uh, designed to operate near shore. That's where we do a lot of our maritime security operations, like we're doing in the Fifth Fleet right now, guarding uh, the Iraqi oil terminals in the Northern Arabian Gulf. The biggest threat we're going to see on the PC level is in their small, fast attack craft. Uh, we often call FAC or FIAC. This is Coalition Warship. <laughs> I'm engaged in transit passage in accordance with international law. I intend no harm over. We go places where even uh, frigates can't go. Uh, so we need to have uh, uh, forces trained to conduct maritime security operations with a reliable combat system. Reliable combat systems that include the Mark 51, a newer lightweight gun. Following the success of the Mark 38 Mod 2 installation to upgrade the aft gun system, PEOIWS funded an experimental test of the Mark 51 30mm cannon. The Mark 51 exceeded expectations during initial testing in September 2009 on board the USS Hurricane at the Patuxent River Test Range. It has the firepower, accuracy, and reliability to meet the threat of today and tomorrow. It's gyro-stabilized, it's optically guided, and it's remotely operated from an operator in CIC. Rather than having a manual machine gun that's manned locally and is somewhat inaccurate, we are very limited in our forward gun coverage. We have an antiquated Mark 38 Mod 1, which is prone to failure, not accurate in any sea state, and exposes personnel topside at the moment you don't want personnel topside. The Mark 51 is operable in diverse weather conditions and is effective as a standalone system or as part of a larger defense strategy. Its mount location provides an improved line of sight when targeting the enemy an enemy who can be unpredictable and unrelenting. As a U.S. warship operating in sometimes uncertain waters, uh, we have to be very disciplined and show a lot of restraint. And being able to be disciplined and have restraint means that I know that I can trust on a very accurate weapon system that I can quickly unleash, fire a minimum amount of rounds, very accurate, neutralize my threat, and move on. I can spend time to ascertain what that threat or perceived threat is doing to me to make that last second or last minute judgment call to open fire and use hostile force. This new weapon with advanced optics and remote operations is essential for the patrol coastal ship mission. It provides flexibility while minimizing crew risk when engaging the enemy. One of the key missions of the PC class of ships is to conduct theater security cooperation and training with our global maritime partners. With the Mark 51, the PC class is an effective deterrent while patrolling and defending coastal waters around the globe. The ships that were about to be decommissioned less than 10 years ago have emerged as one of the success stories of the Navy. We will have a warship that's going to pay dividends for us for whatever the Navy needs. Fifth Fleet, Second Fleet, Fourth Fleet, Third Fleet, you name it, there's going to be a role for the PC in the force, and a better capable PC gives a component commander or the fleet commander a lot more he can do. The PC modernization program is a cost-effective way to keep these ships relevant and dominating the green water and coastal regions around the globe. With the Mark 51, the patrol coastal warship can be a global leader in coastal patrol, maritime security operations, and future irregular warfare missions. The patrol coastal ship, emerging in the 21st century, fast and furious. <laughs>